This thunderstorm is an example of both evaporation and condensation. Let's see why. Welcome to Moving Math and Science and Evaporation versus Condensation. If you take a look at this triangle of phase changes, you can see that matter can be a solid, a liquid, or a gas, depending on whether energy in the form of heat is added or subtracted. Evaporation happens when a liquid is heated. For example, as the sun heats up this lake, the water moves into the air as a gas called water vapor. This is an example of evaporation. Evaporation is an endothermic process because it requires heat to move from a liquid to a gas. But remember, phase changes are always physical changes. Condensation occurs when a gas changes into a liquid. Examples include when droplets occur on the side of a glass or your glasses get fogged up. Condensation occurs when a gas is cooled down and changes into a liquid. Condensation is an exothermic process because heat is released, which causes the gas to move to a liquid. Back to the thunderstorm. Thunderstorms form when warm, moist air rises into cold air. The warm air becomes cooler, which causes the water vapor to form small water droplets due to condensation, which eventually can create a thunderstorm, or at least some rain. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.